You already know just how much Google Ads algorithm is changing and updating all the time and keeping on top of these changes is almost a secret hack because it gives you a competitive advantage over all of your competitors and it also helps you massively increase your revenue and return on ad spend. But with that, let's start off with some of the overall changes and where you can actually find these changes for more information. So just doing a quick search on google.com, just doing a search for Google updates or Google ads updates will lead you to this new features and announcements page. Now, the very first update I want to go over is actually an update which has to do with performance max campaigns. Now, if you look right here, if you read through a few things, there's a lot of different performance max campaign kind of changes coming up. But the first one, which was actually released back on June 29th, is this one right here, which talks about new brand settings. Now, doing a quick further look into this, this is a little bit more about the artificial intelligence side of things and how artificial intelligence is now getting power with search and the different kinds of search keywords to bring an overall holistic approach to your performance max campaigns. Now, what I mean by this is, first of all, you now get a little bit more control with performance max campaigns and the keywords which you target. And this was really surprising to me personally because performance max, it's all about stealing your control and giving Google ads more control. But if we read it right here, now this new update allows us to only reach the brand traffic we want with certain brand restrictions. And this is very interesting. This is specifically talking about search campaigns. But if we scroll now a little bit further, that is further getting introduced with the performance max campaigns as well. And we now actually have the ability to exclude brand traffic. Now, if we read what it says right here, it says, unlike brand restrictions, brand exclusions let you choose which brand to exclude rather than choosing which brands you want to serve ads for. So if there's certain types of brand queries, or maybe there's some third party brands, which you absolutely don't want to rank for, and you can actually choose it from a given list, just like what you see right here. Now you have the ability to completely excluded from your performance max campaign. And if you are a brand where you have certain other competitors, which are not appearing here, you can actually request a brand to be added to this list, which I thought was very interesting and very unique. In addition to that, now you can make your performance max campaign more of a cold traffic type search performance max campaign. And there would be a lot less involvement from these external brands, especially the third party ones which don't have anything to do with your brand or your product so that now moves us on to the second big change which Google has recently added and it has to do more with discovery ads now if you watched a lot of my other videos you know that with discovery ads it's always more about just making new people discover our brand that's essentially it they're just there to increase brand awareness however with now the update from discovery ads to something called demand generation or demand generation and things have been taken to the next level. Now, if we read a little bit more about what demand gen is, demand gen essentially drives conversions, site visits, and other actions like signups, add to carts, which as an e-commerce store owner should not really be relevant to you. But this demand gen campaign type will now do all of those things, including giving you the ability to advertise on YouTube shorts. YouTube shorts is where the secret is with demand gen and where you're going to be able to scale to the next level. Now, demand gen has a lot of other benefits as well. And if you look right here, we can see that demand gen offers you the ability to add certain types of videos and image ads within that campaign type itself. It lets you actually also create lookalike segments, which I thought was very powerful because lookalike segments of your other audiences where it's more of the bottom of the funnel type of audience like add to cart or abandoned cart checkouts etc that's where demand gen will shine the most in addition to that we'll be able to use different types of bidding strategies with demand gen such as maximize clicks bidding or conversions optimizing for conversions target ROAS, target cpa etc which should be the ultimate goal with demand gen you don't want to necessarily be bidding because at the end of the day whatever bid you choose it's going to be a random bid and you don't want to do that with demand gen but in addition to that there's a few kind of things that you need to be expecting with demand gen because they're not right off the bat available for anybody or everybody august to september is when you can actually sign up for the 
beta. Now it's October and the upgrades begin from the beta to actually signing up to demand gen. And from October onwards into November, December next year is when majority of the accounts will fully be upgraded. But if you want early access, you should have a sign at the very top, which has upgrade to demand gen. That's exactly what you want to start doing. Or you can click this link right here. If you need this link directly, just let me know in the comment section and I can have this sent to you directly. This brings me to the third update, which Google has recently introduced. And this has to do directly with artificial intelligence in Google search campaigns. Now, the update I'm referring to is this first one right here, which says maximize views for your budget with the video view campaigns on YouTube now globally available. So this is like a new form of YouTube campaigns, which is called video view campaigns, which is coming out. And this is a very beautiful thing Google has added. Now let's understand a bit more about what this is exactly. So we see right here with these kinds of campaigns, you now have the ability to show up for skippable in stream ads. You have the ability to show up in feed, which essentially means on the YouTube feed itself. You also have the ability to show up your ads within short as well. So this video view campaign is a new introduction to the original YouTube campaigns, which were already available, but these old YouTube campaigns, they could only be shown within a certain kind of ad type. And there was a lot of restrictions around it as to what could be shown, what could not be shown, placements, etc. With this addition, now things are getting taken to the next level. And as we can see here, they've already done a few testing with these kinds of campaigns with some beta testers. And according to this beta testing, on average, these video view campaigns get up to 40% more views and 30% lower cost per view than the other in-stream skippable CPV campaigns, which was essentially the old YouTube campaigns, which you could launch. That's extremely interesting because now more brands can start utilizing YouTube campaigns. And I truly believe in 2023 and onwards, if your brand is not using YouTube campaigns, you are missing a lot of revenue and a lot of profitability and you're putting it on the table essentially. Ultimately, if you're running Google ads, if you're finding scale from shopping and search, there is no reason why you should not be finding success from these YouTube video campaigns unless of course your creative is messed up or your strategy is messed up, which for the strategy side of things, again, if you're doing $40,000 or more per month in revenue, you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen. But be sure to like and subscribe if you found any type of value here and check out this video right here on my newest standard shopping campaign approach, which can help you take your brand to the next level.